today my little grandbaby and uh, Sarah and I are going to make taralucci. You want to help us make taralucci? Si fan di taralucci, si? Ok, guarda, qui dentro puoi mettere un po' di olio. Metti l'olio. Hi, I'm making the oil. Ok, mettiamo dentro l'olio. Bravissima. Oh, io, che bellina sei. Ok, l'olio e poi il sale. Vuoi mettere dentro il sale? Metti dentro il sale, così. Guarda, così si mescola. Ok, prendi questo e ora si mescola. No, ti aiuto, guarda. Così si mescola. Così. Vuoi farlo te? So this is a southern Italian kind of snack and cracker. Ok, non la will help you, ok? We're gonna mix it all up. Vieni, aiutami con questo, guarda. Ancora sale? Ok. We're gonna mix all the oil in and in a minute we're going to add il vino, the wine. Sei pronta? Oh, this is something great that you can do at home with your children. You can do it together. Okay, we'll do it together. Si fa insieme, ok? I can do it Lo vuoi fare tutto da sola? Questo è il peperoncino, aspettiamo col peperoncino. The hot pepper we might need to wait. You want to pour some more in? Prova, così. Hey Naomi, we're going to do this for Nonna Verena. Do you want to say hi to Nonna Verena? No, I can't. You can't? Why not? Because I don't have to make a birthday cake. Oh, you don't have a birthday cake for her? Mm -hmm. But say, ciao Nonna Verena. Ciao Nonna Verena. That's right. Okay, now we're going to need to knead it. We're going to knead the dough really, really well for about 10 minutes. And then we will let it rest and shape the tarallucci. Knead it very hard, that's perfect. You know what we'll do? You knead this one and Nonna will knead this bigger one. Oh, that's perfect. You need some salt. Some salt? There is already salt in it. You wanna pretend there is some more salt? Okay. That's great. Then I forgot. What did you forget? Yeah. This flour. But just a little bit, a little teeny bit. Okay. Oh, oh I stole I yours. Again. Okay. Thank you. Do it. Do it with your hands. There you go. Nonna is going to give you half of it. Okay. Like this. And you can work this one. And in this one, Nonna is going to put the peperoncino. We're gonna spread it out. This is some cayenne pepper, so this one is gonna have hey. some heat to it. Hey, it goes. It goes. What is that? Peperoncino. Cayenne pepper. Now that we have a nice smooth dough, we're just gonna cover it up and allow it to rest. The dough has been able to rest, and you see how nice the surface is. Now we're gonna place this one back under the bowl so it does not dry out. And instead here, we're gonna cut it in half and already kind of roll it out like this. And we're gonna cut off sections that are about eight grams in weight. So let's see how close I'm actually to those eight grams. It's zeroed out. This is 12 grams. So you see it's kind of a small amount. Still a bit too much. So now we're kind of there. We kind of have an idea of how big they need to be. Now that we've portioned them off, we're gonna just roll them out into these long ropes. Now as everybody gets to help to roll these out, I'm gonna show you the next step. You just take them and you cross them over just like so and press into it. And here is our first one. Let's do that with a few more. And kids love to help out doing this. So once again, cross it over and press it in. And this is what we will do to each one of them. The water has come to a boil. And then put the Caralucci right in here. And once they come to the surface, we can take them out. Take them out? Uh -huh. Take them out? Yeah. 
and then you'll see them come up and up and we can scoop them out. Watch. <gasps> there they are. Now we can scoop them out and place them on here to dry. And here are our taralucci. They're not very perfect, but that's what the fun part is about all this. Everybody was able to help out. Sometimes they stick a little bit, but just pull them off and set them on here. And here they are, ready to go into the oven. We've had a fire going for about 45 minutes. And this is the burning chamber. And above is the cooking chamber. And here, inside that cooking chamber, we're gonna put the pan in and close the door. Let's turn the convection feature on and that will allow the taraguchi to dry out and stay in here for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna turn them around and place them back inside. And finally, here are our taraguchi that are ready to come out. Here we are the next day. We let them rest overnight and we are going to serve them with some parmigiano and also some vinsanto. And I'm gonna get to taste one. Mm. They are so good, crunchy, delicious. It's gonna be perfect with a piece of cheese. Buon appetito. Can you show me how you work it? I'm switching it. Fold it. Okay. Stretch and fold it. Stretch and fold it. Are you doing the stretch and fold method? That's very good.